What's up guys, this is Darren DeFillo here again for another video. And today we're gonna to talk about what camera you should buy in 2019 if you're interested in video production. Now to keep it simple, I only chose three cameras. And these three cameras are in three different tiers. What I based this off of were sensor sizes. Now the three sensor sizes we're gonna talk about today are kind of the most popular sensor sizes that are being used right now. And that's micro four thirds, APS-C and the third is full frame, 35 millimeter. Here you can see the graph, the range of how big the comparison to the, the different sister sizes are. So you see the micro four thirds system right there in red, the red box is not the smallest, but pretty small. Then you see the APS-C and you see that it's, it's a little bit bigger than the four thirds system. And bigger than that, you see the full frame, the 35 millimeter. Now let's look at the first camera, the micro four thirds camera. Right now we're gonna start with the small if you're really, really on a budget um, and you're not really trying to spend too much money on the camera, we're gonna start with the micro four thirds camera. Now all of these cameras I'm showing you are 4K. So that's uh, automatic jump in 2019, you know, a lot of cameras offer that already. So the first camera I'm showing you is the Panasonic Lumix G7. It's a great little camera. It has 16 megapixels. Now it's only $500 and that's a great price point if somebody just want to jump in and buy a camera to use. And with that $500, it comes with the lens. So, you know, you, you're pretty much ready to shoot as soon as you buy this particular camera. Now, the APS sensor size that I chose that I think that you should buy is the Sony A6500. This also shoots 4K, but you can see the jump in megapixels. It's 24.2 megapixels. Usually when you get into a higher or a bigger sensor size, you usually get more megapixels to shoot with. And more megapixels will generally bring better detail to your images. So this, as you can see, the price jumps, it doubled. It, it did double from $500 to $1,200. And this doesn't even come with the lens. So you're kind of getting to a higher range. It just is for somebody that kind of want to keep it safe, don't really want to start off too small, but they want to have a good camera that they feel like they have the budget for. And the next sensor size is the full frame. And the camera I chose that I think you guys should really look into if you have this budget. Now this is even, an even bigger budget because it's a full frame camera. It's 4K, it's really the most recent camera that came out um, in this group of cameras that I've shown you. But it's full frame and it, it does shoot 4K. And it's also, it also has a little bit, uh, a little bit jumping in the, in the megapixels, not steep, but it does have a little bit higher megapixel count versus the Sony A6500. And as you can see, this camera has a tilting touch screen and then, you know, and it does Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So it does give you a little bit more leeway into getting even better images understand all of these cameras and understand what the cam a camera inside and out once you have an understanding of what a camera does and how it works you can get some great images out of a camera but really at the end of the day story is king so get a great story learn your camera and shoot something and if you guys have any questions at all about cameras or even about different cameras, because there's so many cameras that are being produced today that you can go in any direction, just let me know. Brand, brands aren't really something that I kind of care about too much. The reason why I personally shoot with Panasonic is because I invested into their system and they can produce a similar image instead of me buying different cameras that will produce different images if I'm trying to use it on one set. So like I said guys, if you have any questions pertaining to anything I talked about in this video, please let me know in the comment section and please subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.